all righty hello everyone welcome back to another playthrough of last door um today we're gonna see if we can figure out about getting senior violin man to uh talk to us oh why don't i remember what's this way oh it's the downstairs oh yeah i think this is where we need to go yes Shut up, phone. No? The paper's too thin, it would shatter apart. Hmm. Because there's rosin on there, and it's really sticky. Um, what appears in the saga? So I need something to get the rosin, I guess. Listen. Um, I didn't think it would. I managed to coat the feather with the resin. I have stuck the pieces together with the resin, the space. It reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. It, just, it, was, it was so weird. Why would a snail smell after a while? But I had to take it out. Alright, let's go back to Senior Violin Man. Wrong place. You're back! Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me again and I know now exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please, take my violin. Now that I have completed my work, I no longer have a use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key to the mausoleum, my friend. Um, okay. I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Look for Simurg. Molto adagio sotto. Oh, he's just composing now. Interesting. So we now have violin. Oh, yes. I remember that. One. Oh, what is he talking about? A mausoleum. But yeah, it's that locked gate that's out there. Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who do not hear her. Pity for those not blessed by her naive grace, not shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling their souls into divine ascendance. Here lies Daphne. God rest her soul. The sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? Who could have done this? Trail of dirt. A trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to this hole. Was the coffin transported through here? Just going to find out. I can see the mausoleum dome from here. I cannot see through any of these dirty windows. It's locked. What was that? Let's go here first. Oh, at least out to here. Maybe I can see something if I look into the keyhole. Darkness there and nothing more. Oh, well.
With the help of River, the Naiad Daphne hid from sun in the showery mists. She changed her skin for strong bark so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the rustle of a thousand leaves. Books with unpronounceable names in dead languages. Myths and legends this time, Norse tales, Greek, ancient Sum Sum Sumerian, others that I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. I beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. What are you doing here in the dark? What are you doing here in the dark? Oh, sitting in the dark. Why, I'm reading these marvelous books. In the dark, how can you see the words without any light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page. The words from the shadows. Shadow always hides from the light, you know so they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner? Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone, not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes, or tombs, tomes, tomes, tomes. <laughs> Have you seen a man pass this way? He has red hair, he has red hair, tall and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know of whom you speak. I see him here from time to time, perusing the books. He would pick off the shelf, glance at it, and then put it back. He and I never spoke, though. Why do you ask? Um, sure. I see him sometimes, but he slips away whenever I try to meet him. I feel as if he's guiding me towards something. That may be so. We each have our own white rabbit to lead us through lost places. Can you tell me which books this man posed? Well, let me think. Ah uh, yes, I recall him looking at unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome, very revealing and very rare. The bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy in its collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Um... Excuse the interruption. Pardon the interruption, sir. I'll lead you to your reading. A large collection of books. Unparalleled. <gasps> I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds as if she's singing a lullaby. I like this one. A book lies on the floor. Its spine reads, its spine reads, unexplored places on the empire. A page has been marked. The place of the eternal fog, also known as Zala. It is a unique bay in the east of Bedeswa, near the jungles of Bengal, or Bengala. It is surrounded by tall snow-caped mountains, usually covered in mist. The waters of the bay are very dang dangerous and rarely visited. Just climb from down there. The remains of a coffin. It looks like it was burst from the inside. On the ground lies a book entitled The Songs of Zyla. The page to which it was open has been torn out, but the remaining fragment identifies a song titled The Search for Sigma. It see I see something caught in the branches. It appears to be a page torn from the book below. The window is shrouded with a thick layer of dust, not even a glow of light shines through. So we need to get that page somehow. Oh, it stopped. That 
that's unnerving. Me no like that. A surprisingly lot of vegetation covers the place. I don't recognize the species these plants belong to. Why did you stop singing, senor? Da. A cracked wall, a long green vine has grown through it. Hey, hey, Madonna, you, you mind singing again? You kind of creeping me out. There we go. There was a note pars partly obscured by mud. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing. Rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stop me coming closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. A pile of ragged clothes caked with mud and full of holes. It rained! The violin has disappeared amongst the roots, so as if swallowed up, the trunk seems to be expanding. That noise came from above. All right. With our handy dandy flashlight, we shall get back upstairs. I remember I had a lot of trouble with figuring that part of the puzzle out. I was like, what the fudge am I supposed to do with this? The tree has grown. So in the branch that crashed through the window and into the street. On the ground lies the song, ta da da, -da. The window has been broken by the tree's branches in a sudden growth. Intense rays of light stream into the bookshop. So I guess we need to go outside now. There it is! The paper sheet captured in the branches now within my reach. On the page is a strange poem. First into the wind they sought for the king, but lost were the birds. They wept in suffering. And flew to the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence. Their quest was complete. Ah! Senor Redhead! Aspetta! Don't you do it. Oi! Ugh! <laughs> Great. Now I need to go down here. This is wait, do this have to listen to something. Hmm. There's an order. First into the wind, they saw, but lost were the birds, they wept, and then flew to the sea, and then silence. So wind, bird, sea, silence. You mind explaining why you look at me like a weirdo, sir? Your ticket, please. Thank you. Please come in. You're not gonna explain dig of the squad? Okay. Got it. Okay, music, pop off. <clears throat> Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. 
You were there. You were part of the group. I don't- you don't remember my name, do you? I am Alexander. What is this all about? What do you want from me? From you? <laughs> Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here, searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? Um... True philosophy? True philosophy. Indeed, it was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, any out there, dear Jeremiah. There is no one who will care for us when our hour comes. We had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird, bird protected us. It is by his design that we should meet again. But we are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wings. His influence and power is ever expanding, ever reaching. Do you not feel him beckoning? I only want to wait from this nightmare. There is no nightmare. Or more like this is no nightmare. It is a show, a performance. The truth we seek lies beyond the curtain. Now we are across the point of no return. The lights are on, the stage is set. And soon we shall meet the other actors. Welcome. <laughs> this belongs to you. The Laster. Dearest Air Doctor Wakefield, if you're reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize I cannot accompany you immediately. My own investigations have demanded a certain unanticipated degree of attention. I have determined that our patient, Devitt, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information post haste. In the meantime, discretion is of the utmost importance. Your friend, Johann Kaufmann. Complete the third episode. You know, it's probably not a good idea, generally, to take strange masks from people you barely remember. Um, we're gonna start the next one. There's always a chance, my friend. I have made my mind. What, we're going to torture him or something? I'm ready. Sono pronto. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Are they going to have more fire? That's not like a match. I really like the um, setup of this game. It really is TV show like, which is so fascinating to me. Yeah, close viola. Multiple banner, multiple banner. It's really nice music. It's like one of my favorite parts of the entire game. It's pretty. Can you see all these stars sprinkling in the black outer, outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant area, eras. Look now to the forest and the valley, to the old tower. From the last tree in the distance to the stars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Debit, a place of mists. 
Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend, will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The last door? The door that gets passes through the veil. Open it and we will walk together beyond the mist. I must find the last door. Is that what you is that what you wanted to say? I think that's what you want to say. I suppose you're wondering why I've called you so urgently. I cannot deny it, your letter was truly really mysterious. I've been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. God? Why, yes, the tragic event has been the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper, newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. <laughs> but I don't understand. How is all this connected to, with my patient? He was there. I'm afraid he was one of the victims. Dear God. Um, let's see, you're telling me my patient has been murdered. What was Devitt doing there? What was Devitt doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beatsworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Er Devitt was investigating something. He believes he had found a clue related to his friend's death. Are you telling me my patient was murdered? Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? <laughs> Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Er David was attacked but survived. What happened to him then? What happened to him then? It seems a criminal was caught by Er David in the midst of an, the act. And then he tried, tried to do the same thing to David that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin ere Devitt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained unconscious for an entire day. What was the cause of these awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were reflected with terrible rooms. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. I suspect you did not find M Monsieur Devitt in the hospital. <laughs> Monsieur Devitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time it arrived. I have been not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is an, a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Eric Dedvitt. Within the coffin, an empty hypodermic needle with the traces of an unknown substance. Traces of an unknown substance? So, if he, Devitt, was knocked out by Baldwin, everything that we saw in Chapter 3 didn't actually happen? Episode 4, Ancient Shadows. Is that what we're supposed to conclude? Because they're saying how he was hospitalized. I'm sure this is a place. Xander's house must be just ahead. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. I'm sorry, I have some questions. Oh, footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Um, I'll probably do that before I, you know, start wandering around someone else's house. Boy. Anyone in here? Oh, Alexander. There's a letter. There's a scribbled annotation in this piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being incessantly. In vain do we waste our lives craving to tear through. It is Xylothel. The curtain beyond, behind which the great rings beat, inside its ancient mist, inhabit the shadows of those who walked.
Alexander, it's me, David. I'm sorry if I startled you. Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Is everything alright? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you hurt, maybe? Can you stand? He is staring blankly at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. What's going on? You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. You can't tell me what is happening here. He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were they yours, or is there someone else in the house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Alexander, please say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. Just what happened to him? Hush. This cuckoo clock is covered with gut dust. It seems to be missing an important piece. The bird. How convenient. The face of the clock has turned. Has been turned. So I need to fix the face of the clock for that. A misty dock overlooks a great ocean. Goes wheel overhead. Alright, let's leave here. It's a diary. This is the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. October 12th, 1887. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupierre, or Pre, has gotten ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which it seems he shall not return anytime soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? October 18th. The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. In the end, Mr. Dupier is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he has so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. This looks like the diary of the member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? Hmm. The cellar door is locked. I need a key to open it. Now that allows me to go out there. An ancient stone well, a rope hangs inside, disappearing to the darkness below. Oh shoot, the rope has broken. I'll keep this end. Maybe like this? Okay, we now have a fish hook. Within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small bird of brass. There it is. Now I can put that in the cuckoo clock. Oh. It looks like someone was buried here. I can't dig with my bare hands. So I need a shovel. Say less. Alright, so let's go do the cuckoo clock. I don't like how it's silent. Okay, there you go. A little brass burr when shaking, it makes a noise that there's something inside. The bird fits perfectly. The face of the clock has been turned. Hmm. What am I to do with that info? face of the clock has been turned and it's not like he's saying oh i need to turn it the other direction i need to face fit fix it he's just making an observation hmm okay Think. I need this to be right, right? 
how can I make it red? It is interesting you can go back out here. Old ruins lay by the path. It seems to be Roman style. Oh my! The corpse of a deer, it's Adam and torn open. It looks recently dead. That's why they have it there. Now the bulb is grossly covered in blood. There we go. Awesome. Oh, that photo's gone now. The image has faded out. that's a good place to stop actually so i'm a little lost because saying i need a photographic plate to work but i'm not sure where i would find something like that we don't even like i don't think there's any other options we can collect at this point because there is a grave we can look at but we need to dig in order to discover anything and that will require like a shovel um literally everything we have at hand is for the room we're trying to figure out currently is for nowhere else so there's nothing there um and we looked everywhere there's I, <laughs> Unless somehow I'm missing something very obvious. I'm just a silly billy. Oh yeah, we still need to get in here some way. It's locked though. And I've yet to find a key for that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to. And I can't see myself having to go anywhere else at this point. Besides to the photographic room. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you'd think we'd have something like that already, but I guess not. Alright, yeah, we're gonna worry about that next time. Alright, so, um, fun stuff, fun stuff. Making some good headway, discovering a lot of weird things. Um, this is the last episode of this one, then we'll be on to season two of Last Door. Um, and... I think I may have played that one, but I don't think I finished it. So that should be new. So yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.